In terms of a practice, uh, would you say that it's important for leaders especially, or like, you know, more so, especially as people are moving up in the leadership chain is to practice mindfulness so that they can be that presence, so they can speak that being? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. When you look at LinkedIn, they have a leader of compassion and mindfulness. The Mm -hmm. ethos of their company is built on that. So it starts with the leadership. And then if you can codify and operationalize it in the culture, look at the cohesion and inherent in every communication is safety. So if everybody is aligned and coming from that, there's a felt sense of safety and presence and discovery mode of communication and uh, it just the nervous system of the entire organization it is reset and and as you said going to that power the choice the reactivity you know collectives amplify power so the possibility of being in choice rather than reactivity is amplified by the collective commitment and intentionality of mindfulness practice. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it, takes, a, it takes a champion, it seems. It takes, it takes a, a, someone in a, whether it's a leadership role or someone who's just willing to step up as a champion or a leader of the, of the pursuit of practice and mindfulness in this organization. It kind of takes someone who's champions in it. 